the radar says the heavy stuff still a few hours away, but snow is falling as we near kickoff at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the San Francisco 49ers. And San Francisco gets set to go here. 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. First carry for the former Falcon, Tevin Coleman. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. John Simon in on the stop. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down, slow to get up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. run got a couple here second and eight now back to throw that's going to be caught by Samuel and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50 11 yards there first down in so many ways throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. A second and 10 on a chilly, snowy December day. And I must say, I'm loving it. Kind of putting me in the holiday spirit. Charles, Charles hates it. And he's given me the evil eye, folks. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Back to throw again. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Anthony Jennings. With a big-time sack on third down, it's a loss of seven. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Now a first down throw for Newton. He's going to have the hook up to Izzo. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 14. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Out of the gun, Newton. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. And 
one. They'll run for the first time with Sony Michelle. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. That's good. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Big conversion. They were backed up deep to start the drive, able to pick up the first. So the goal is at least a first down here, right? Pick up a first down, give yourself some breathing room, and if you have to punt after that, maybe you've helped with field position and you've helped out your defense. And avoided a three and out on their opening drive. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Second and six. They will run with White out of the shotgun. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. White, the ball carrier. Brought down at the 30-yard line. That's a gain of three. Brings up third and three. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Sonny Michelle comes out of a long line of terrific running backs from the University of Georgia and was a first-round selection for New England in 2018. He does not mind carrying the football, never turns down an opportunity. Top 10 in rushing attempts in the league in 2019. On first and 10, Newton. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. On second down, Michelle. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. first but we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. And he's got this one across midfield in the 49er territory. He's across midfield. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From just shy of midfield, Newton into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. He's picked off near his own 48, and into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. He is a difference maker at the linebacker position. He had a pick six last year, remember it? But it's different for those guys, isn't it, than a corner or a safety? It certainly is because sometimes they're pattern reading, seeing what the receivers are doing. Sometimes they're spot dropping, just getting to a place on the field and finding the quarterback and going to the ball. But remember this, these linebackers, at one time in their life, a lot of them were running backs. And they love having the ball back in their hands and making big moves towards the end zone. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. 
And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, hey, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs... They're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Let's get it together, Let's get it together. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Here's Newton. This is White on the screen. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And yeah, the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And yeah, the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Try and start this drive in the air. Open man is born. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Here's Moster. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the All-Pro, Stephon Gilmore. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 46. The Patriots take over. Now following the interception, here's Newton. That'll be taken in by Demir Bird. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. To throw again. Newton got a man open. That's Harry. Nine.
nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A gain of nine brings up third and one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. They'll run it. This is Michelle. And it was a stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Just beating the play clock is Newton. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Nikhil Harry was the intended target, but it's going to be second down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That's the end of the first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. nothing. New England on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and eight. A shotgun snap for Newton. That's caught. It's Thomas. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. They'll run. This is White, and he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Second and goal from the six this time. They'll run out of the gun with Michelle. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. James returning. And he won't quite make it to the 25. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 the score as they begin first and 10. with a handoff to Coleman. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 
Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Well, coaches stress their defense being physical. They don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away, incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Patriots take over. New England trying to get to place on offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corral give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football he's going to have a first down for a lot of guys playing this game there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle he's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup on first down it's newton open man is myers Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Throwing is Newton. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. You got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. He'll get this underneath to Michelle. And he needed to get to the midfield stripe, but he can't do it. He's about a yard short. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. Going to wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. Mullins and the Niners now with a first and 10 at their own 11. He'll set up to throw. Open man is Samuel, complete. Seven yards, the pickup there. Debo Samuel, a seven-yard pickup, brings up second and three at the 18-yard line. Second down and three. The play-action fake, they'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. Trent Taylor, the one he was looking for, and it's third and short. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. The Niners on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and 3. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. 
picked off at the 24. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score Patriots 14, 49ers 7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Mullins and the Niners now with a first and 10 at their own 26. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Now this throw caught left side. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Warren, a gain of nine, brings up third down. The Niners on third down, not good, 0 for 4 thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. On third down, it's very simple. Make sure you get beyond the sticks, make the catch, pick up the first down. But in this case, he turned into bonus time and was off to the races for a monster play. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Lawrence Guy able to get in there and drop him for a loss. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles are usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback that's the blind side he's going after the quarterback he's going to put him on the ground after the delay they're backed up even further for third and long out of the gun they'll look to throw 
He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's a big gainer on that play, and from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come into the huddle and say, guys, how about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, you know they'll pick you apart if you give them time like that to find receivers downfield. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. One more time with Mostert. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go -go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Kendrick Bourne there to make the grab. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And we've got a tie game here at a back-and-forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. On the return, it's Taylor. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So the Patriots coming out now. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. He takes this for three to the 29. He's tackled at the 29. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. From the 29, Newton. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Richard Sherman, a pro bowler a year ago, had a pick six in the season opener last season against Tampa Bay. And he delivers again with a return for a touchdown on that play. Gold to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21 14. Makes the score Niners 21, Patriots 14.
Mitch Wisnowski. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. On the return, it's Taylor. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive may be them returning that for a touchdown. This offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there, it's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. See if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second and 12, Newton over the middle, open is Thomas. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Got 12 yards there and a first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. From the gun, here's Newton. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Ryan Izzo, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Five yards, now it's third and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and five. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. The play fake to Michelle, now Newton. And that is incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want. Anytime they want to throw the football, there was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Well, you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he finds the tight end, Reed. 
Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. He'll find Taylor. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 27-yard line. Now a timeout signal for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. On the return, it's Taylor. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. New England trotting into place on offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up on first and ten. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 22. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, that'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Two yards the loss, second and 12. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. 30-yard line, second and 12. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Newton's Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Newton. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. 
picked by Tarverius Moore. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be an even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man, and he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead, and boy, it paid off. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid gain. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And this will be incomplete. Physical play ball there, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. He was taken down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Out of the gun now on third down. He'll get that one to Taylor complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. New England trying to get to place on offense. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Looking to throw on second down. Newton. Forced out to his left. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Deion Jordan on the tackle. That's a gain of eight. Brings up third and two. Yeah. 
On the ground, this is Michelle. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. First down, here's White. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36 yard line. The tackle made at the two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. They stay on the ground with White. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, Newton. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. A shotgun snap for Newton. Steps away to his left. He'll run it. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. On first down, White. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. 22-yard line. Here's second and nine. Operating from the gun, Newton. He's going to have the hook up to Izzo. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Brings up Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Newton on third down. He hits White. Complete. And he's in. Touchdown. Patriots, a 15-yard touchdown grab, and the Patriots are back within a score. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. 
I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. It's certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. And some secondary help here for the defense of the nickel on third and long. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And unable to connect, incomplete. Well, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Two things you can do in that situation, run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at their 36-yard line. And he'll hand this to Michelle to get things started. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. From the gun, Newton. Buying time to his left. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Throwing on third down, Newton. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Eric Armstead, the defensive end, will get credited for the sack. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback, because he had no chance to block it. The Patriots send out their punter, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. He was tough today, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. They're going to look to throw. Got the connection here to Bourne. 
And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. 16 yards, a first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Raheem Mostert there. And it's second down. Offense tried to get a little slick there and sneak the back out of the backfield and turn him into the primary deep receiver. But it's good coverage defensively. They were able to break it up. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. throw here hauled in and he'll get it down to the 47 here nine yards and that leaves him just short so it'll be third and less than a yard brings up third and inches the Niners on third down they've converted a third of their opportunities three for nine they're looking at third in the nose of the football They'll try and run here with Mostert. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That is Tomlinson who is down. Boy, not what they want to see. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Complete pass here now is second and ten. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the ten to the seven. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the 49ers add six to their lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. They'll try and throw for it. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, 
but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. On the return, it's Taylor. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. On first down, Newton. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Now a pass dropped off here for James White. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Newton able to get this to his running back, White. Not much there, only a yard. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 39-yard line. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Throwing again is Newton. Catch is made by Harry. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Third and three. Newton throwing again. And now here is another interception. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. They'll take over first and 10 at the 39-yard line. This is Mostert. And yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Kyle Duggar up to make the tackle. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Here's second and eight. And his throw is incomplete. Charlie Warner, the tight end, the intended target. But now it's third down. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Looking underneath, and he finds McKinnon. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Complete. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Here's a toss play right to Mostert. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty. But it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? 
So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he finds the tight end, Reed. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be a second and long. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Again, he'll drop to throw. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. That's caught by his running back, Raheem Mostert. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Second and goal from inside the five. And he hauls it in. Zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Touchdown, Jarek McKinnon there to make the grab. And the 49ers add on to their lead. Well, we know he can run the ball. There he shows he has the ability to do a little bit more. That's what you call a complete player. A guy who can run it, catch it, probably can protect the passer when necessary, but his skills are best used when you get the ball in his hands. And that's the thing. When you've got an athlete like that, you want to get the ball to him in multiple ways, right? Without a doubt, because he often creates mismatches about who can cover him, whether he's coming out of the backfield or even lining up like a receiver. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. On the return, it's Taylor. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Eric Armstead able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen. Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Intended for that incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, here's Newton. And that is incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They snap it to Newton. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth.
Newton on first down. Got a man open. That's Harry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And my goodness, another interception. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. At the 18-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll get that one to Taylor complete. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the 8-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. By a few inches, that'll be a first down. Mostert and across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. San Francisco. An eight yard touchdown run. And the Niners take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. And while no one on the offensive line will get the six points next to their name, they should be credited with this one. Tremendous blocking to get the runner into the end zone. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 49, Patriots 21. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. On the return, it's Taylor. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. It's almost like, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out up. of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. That catch good for only a couple. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Brings up third down. Shotgun snap for Newton. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That's good. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. Well, they had held him pretty well in check, but if you recall back in the first quarter, you said they needed to avoid the big play. He finally gets loose. And the thing about it, it doesn't have to be a bunch of big plays. Sometimes one big play can be enough. That's why it's tough to deal with a guy like that. 
And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Throwing again. Newton on the left side. A catch by White. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy on the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw, and a good one. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Desperation time, Newton, fourth down. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. He'll drop it underneath to White. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Again, Newton. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Tervarius Moore. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Another try after the first down sack. Newton, and he's going to go down again. Kerry Hyder flying in and laying the lumber defensively. It's a loss of eight. Makes it third and goal. Today's final score, Niners A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.